This question popped up on a video that was answering a previous question about how to open up Google Chrome in full screen mode. What this user wants to do is basically the opposite of that. They were asking, is it possible to start Chrome hidden? And it certainly is possible to do that using something called headless Chrome. A headless web browser is simply a web browser without any graphical user interface. And there are several other web browsers which support it. Um, if you're interested in how it works in Google Chrome, there's a nice uh, bit of background information there on the uh, Google developers site. So it might be a nice bit of reading for you for some background information. And what we're going to do is use Google Chrome or headless Chrome to grab a table of the highest grossing films from Wikipedia. Just as a nice, simple example, we'll grab this table. So while I'm here, I'm going to grab a copy of the URL for that page. And then I've got a blank workbook waiting for me in Excel. I've already inserted a blank module into my VBA project. And to start with, we'll write some code using a visible version of Chrome to grab that table into a new worksheet. So without taking up too much time, let's write the basic code to grab that table. I'll head to the tools menu first and choose references so that I can set a reference to the Selenium type library and I'll check the box next to that. Then I can hit OK, and then we can write a basic subroutine, let's say get table or something like that. And then I'll declare a variable to hold a reference to the Selenium Chrome driver. I'll create a new instance of that by saying set CD equals new selenium.chrome driver. And then I want to start the driver, so I can say cd.start, and then I want to get a reference to that URL that I've just copied. So cd.get, and then paste in, in a set of double quotes, the URL that I've just copied. Now that I've done that, I'd like to get a reference to the first table on that page. So I'm going to declare a variable, I'll call it t, uh, just because I'm feeling lazy, as a selenium.web element. And then I can set a reference to the first table on that page, I can say set t equals cd.findElementsBy. So we've covered how to find elements using lots of different techniques in previous videos. So here I'm going to use find elements by CSS. So that's going to allow me to return all of the tables on the page by using the table tag. And then I'm going to refer to the first element returned in that collection by putting the number one in parentheses after the, uh, the find elements by CSS. Once I've done that, I would like to take the table and I'd like to convert it into a table. So I'll say T as table, and then I want to send it to Excel. And I'm going to do that into a brand new worksheet. So at this point, I'm going to say worksheets dot add, and then refer to range A1 on the worksheet whose reference has been returned by the add method. Okay, so very, very basic. Um, I'm not spending too much time on the details there, but when I run that subroutine, what we ought to end up with is Google Chrome opening up, and I'll grab the table from the page, and then Google Chrome disappears. I declared the Chrome driver variable within a subroutine, so by default, when the subroutine reaches its end and that variable goes out of scope, the, the browser or the driver closes down, and we should just have ended up with a brand new worksheet in the workbook with the details from that first table. Now I'd like to do exactly the same thing, but without seeing the Chrome browser pop up at all. To do that, we can head back to the VB editor. And before we start the driver, we can add some arguments to it. So we're going to say CD dot add argument, and then in some double quotes, a nice simple argument, dash dash headless, simple as that. Now we know that when we end this subroutine, the variable goes out of scope and the driver closes down anyway, but if you wanted to guarantee that, you could add cd.quit at the end. Um, this would be important if you were using a module level variable. So had you declared your driver variable at the top of the module, the driver wouldn't automatically close at the end of the subroutine because it would not be out of scope. So adding that just, uh, I guess, good practice to make sure we don't end up with lots of instances of Chrome running. So we should end up, when we run the subroutine, we should see a new worksheet appear. Uh, but without an instance of Chrome opening up, or at least not visibly to us. So there's our new worksheet, and there's our new copy of the data, but without seeing Chrome appear. So at this point, you could work with that web page in the headless Chrome browser in much the same way you would if Chrome was visible on screen. You can find elements, you can loop over element collections, you can click on buttons, copy information into Excel, etc. There is, however, one important exception to that. There's one part that doesn't work. It's a little bit broken, and it's all to do with downloading files. 
Now, annoyingly, this is quite closely related to the original question, which if we look at that, as well as starting Chrome Hidden, which I think we have successfully dealt with, we also want to be able to download an Excel file from an SSRS website. Now, without getting into a discussion as to whether this is the best way to download an Excel export of a report in SSRS, of course, reporting services has subscriptions designed for precisely that reason, but there may be a legitimate reason for wanting to do it this way. So let's just focus on the original question. To download a file, I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how that works without a headless version of Chrome. I'm going to use the um, page on the WiseL website that shows you the basic web scraping with Selenium video. And there's a link on there which allows you to download the files for that video. So I've written a very basic subroutine which will click that link and download that file. I've changed the structure of the procedure slightly, so I wanted to make sure that Chrome remains open until the download has been completed. So I've declared a module level variable for the Chrome driver and instantiated that within the subroutine. I've commented out the headless argument for the moment, browse to that website, uh, that web page on the WiseL website, find the link element or the anchor element by using the find element by link text method, looking for the here word. Um, many other ways are available. We've covered lots of different techniques for finding elements. I'm just using this one here for convenience. And then I'm clicking that link. So if I just show the downloads folder quickly to prove that it's empty at the moment, if I run this subroutine, we will see an instance of Chrome opens up and appears on screen. And then you can see the downloads already happening. The link has been clicked. The download is finished. I can close down that instance of Chrome, have a look in my downloads folder, and there is the downloaded file. Now let's see what happens if we try to do the same thing in headless mode. I'll get rid of the file that I've downloaded so the downloads folder is empty again head back to my code and uncomment the argument to run in headless mode. Bear in mind that we'll end up with a background Chrome process still running at the end of this subroutine because of the module level variable. It won't have gone out of scope at the end of the subroutine. I'm not going to add the cd.quit line there just to prove that it is just the headless mode that's causing this problem. I'm not gonna change two things at the same time. I'm just going to run this subroutine and we will see that something is happening. And when that something ends, sadly, when we go to the downloads folder, nothing actually has happened at all. So the file has not yet been downloaded. Now, apparently this is all to do with a bug that was in the earlier release of headless mode for Chrome. Here's the original bug report for that, which has subsequently been fixed. Um, well, it happened in 2017, so you'd hope so by now. Uh, but annoyingly, that fix does not appear to have filtered through into the Selenium basic implementation. So, I've had a look around and I'm afraid I can't find anything useful here to help us get this to work in VBA. Plenty of workarounds for other languages such as Python, but nothing in VBA. So I'm afraid at this point I'm a bit stuck. So if anybody does know anything about this and knows of a solution or a workaround for Selenium Basic in VBA, I would love to hear about it. I know that uh, there's a couple of commenters who know a lot more about Selenium than I do, uh, Yasser Khalil and DM, who've offered lots of good advice on previous comments on, on the YouTube videos. So if either of you guys know anything, I would love to hear from you. Apart from that, I'm afraid, that's as far as we can go. So I guess it's kind of half an answer to the original question. Uh, yes, you can start Chrome in hidden mode, but no, you shouldn't bother doing that if you wanted to download files in, in hidden mode or headless mode. So I suppose the sensible thing to do at this point is either to continue with the technique you're using, a minimized window, or have a look into subscriptions in SSRS. You may find, just in case you didn't already know about that, you may find that that solves your problem altogether and means you don't have to automate that process yourself. So hope you've learned at least something from that. Um, hopefully part of it was useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.